All right, so today I'm gonna to share how I made that Al Horford jersey swap transition. This has been one of my most requested videos so far, so I'm excited to share my process with you guys on this transition. Make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna keep posting videos like this, but let's get into this tutorial and I'll show you guys how to do it. So I have these two pieces of footage that I know I wanna do this transition on. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that these two clips are kind of the same motion. So I'm gonna emphasize this again. The most important thing is having two pieces of footage that are very similar. So this is very similar framing. Um, he's in the same position and he's moving in the same direction. So when you're shooting, try to think about this transition ahead of time and have two shots where maybe the player is in their warmups and then in the jersey and try to line up the framing and the body positioning so that it's the same. That will make this transition a lot easier. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate these two clips by holding option and sliding up. And then I'm going to select both and hit replace with After Effects composition. So now I'm in After Effects and the first step is to get these to line up perfectly. So what I like to do is bring this second clip underneath the other one. And then what I like to actually do is take this top one, hit T, which will bring up the opacity. And then I'm going to lower that opacity. So this lets me see where the body placement is in relation to both clips. So then I'm gonna hit P, hold shift, hit S and R, just because this is gonna let me change the position scale and rotation to match them up. And this actually looks pretty close already. I think I can move this around a little bit. I might scale up just a tad. I think I actually need to scale up the bottom one. And then I should bring this top one back down. And you know, that's already looking pretty lined up to me. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth and seeing how these are lined up. I actually think I'm gonna start the transition back here because I think that lines up better. So I'm going to delete this part, Command Shift D. That's lining up pretty well in my opinion. So I'm gonna come back here, hit T again. And we're going to come back to this keyframe and bring the opacity back up. And so now we are going to start the actual transition because these are lined up as well as they can be. So what I like to do is I'm just going to bring this clip on top just to make it easier. Duplicate this layer, Command D, and then I'm going to double click on it. And that's going to bring it up in the layer panel. What most of this transition is, is just masking. So I think the easiest way to do this is to rotoscope. So you're going to come up here, hit this button. And then this is gonna bring up a tool. Um, you can see it kind of. And then I'm gonna make sure I'm on the first frame, hit the roto brush, and then I'm gonna zoom in. And as you can see, I have this plus tool. So I'm basically just gonna go around and outline the whole jersey in shorts so that it masks it out. So I'll come here. You can see it's outlining. I'm gonna be nice and slow. And then say I go over like that, I can just hold option and it'll show up as red and it'll delete that. This part's just a little tedious, but you have to do it. I'll go through and finish out the rest of this and I'll speed it up. All right, so that's a pretty good initial mask. And then what I like to do is go frame by frame and just make sure that this mask is going to track properly. So I'm just gonna hit Command in the arrow keys and let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Hit it again. Okay, so it seems to be tracking pretty well. Actually, you know what? I gotta go back. You can see here on his neck, um, it's coming up. So I'm gonna hold option, delete that. And then we'll go back, keep an eye on this area and we'll hit command arrow key. Looking at his right armpit, I think I can fix this a little bit too. Clean it up, go back forward. So I know this part's tedious, but you just gotta do it and make sure the mask is clean because the cleaner the mask, the better tra the transition is going to look. So we'll delete this. I'm just gonna go through, clean this up and I'll speed it up and then we'll hop into the next step. All right, and that's realistically all I probably need because I'm only gonna have the jersey come on for a couple frames before he comes on. I'm actually gonna solo this clip and then go back to composition just to see what the mask looks like. So you know it looks pretty good. You can see there's kind of this roughness on the edges. So what I'm going to do is feather this first of all, and you know, that's cleaning it up a little bit. And I might actually just shift the edge in a little bit. So you know, that looks pretty good. Let's just slide through. You know, for the sake of the tutorial, I think this outline looks pretty good. For the actual edit, I spent a lot of time going through each frame by frame and cleaning up, you know, like the stuff like that and kind of more minor details. But for the point of this, I think this is okay. Um, and then so the next step is to actually come back into here and I'm going to hit this button right here, uh, freeze. 
So this is basically just going to freeze the mask. So any changes I make, Rotoscope is not gonna come back through and try to re-mask everything. Um, so this is gonna lock in this mask. So we'll come back to composition. We will unsolo this layer. And now we have a separate, just the jersey, which is this layer. And then this layer is the initial clip. So what I'm actually going to do is take the bottom clip and drag it out a couple frames. So you can kind of see this is coming together. So we got him walking, just the jersey, and then his full body. What I want to do is come here to the bottom clip, hit T, that's going to bring up opacity. And the way I did it, it was I brought it to full opacity right around here and then zero here. So he's kind of fading in in the background, right? And then I'm actually going to pre-compose this. So I'm going to grab these two clips, right click, hit pre-compose and make sure the second one is selected move all attributes into new composition. So hit that. And so now you can see this is one layer now. So I'm gonna line this up so that when he is full opacity in the second clip, that's gonna line up for when the first clip cuts. So that's pretty good. And the reason I pre-composed it is because I want to be able to keyframe the position of the jersey while it's still being connected to the bottom layer. This is just a lot easier if I just pre-compose these, which is basically like nesting it in Premiere Pro. Um, and that's going to allow me to affect the position for both layers. So I'm going to hit P, S, T, and R uh, just to bring up all the keyframes that I might use. And right here is where I want it to come back to the normal position. So I'm going to set a keyframe for all of this. Then this step is really just trying to match up this jersey with his positioning. It's really just about getting these keyframes dialed in. You know, one thing I think I did was I grabbed an effect called corner pin and put this on here. I'm again gonna come here and set a keyframe for all of this. But as you can see, the bottom here looks kind of weird. That there, and then the upper left, you know, it's just kind of messing with this and getting this to where it looks natural. You know, that's not bad, it's not perfect. You guys get the point. What I'd really do in a normal transition is come down here and really do the corner pin very precisely, maybe crop in on this a little bit just to hide kind of the legs, which is throwing the whole thing off. But you know, the next step is just come here. I hit T to bring up opacity, I hit that, and then just fading it in. So boom, jersey's coming on. And that actually doesn't look great. I think I gotta come back to position. I think that's too high, so I'm gonna lower that. And yeah, you know, that's not bad. I think it's really just about dialing in these keyframes, like I said before. So we'll come back into Premiere, render this. And you know, it doesn't look terrible. I think we, you can kind of tell that we're dealing with a little issue here with the cropping of the other composition. So if I come here, motion tile, throw this on, um, we'll go mirror edges and put the output height and width to 500. That's just gonna eliminate that black bar look uh, because it's going to mirror the edges. So we'll come back into Premiere. Let's render this. You know, that's looking pretty good. So I think um, after this, it's really just adding your own twist on it. So what I like to do is I'll bring in my overlay pack here. I'm gonna link this in the description um, if you guys are interested in checking it out. But I always just love to throw a little extra something on top. Um, and this could really kind of hide any mistakes in the transition and just spice it up a little bit. Then we'll grab this soft flash, throw it over the top. I'll rotate it and then scale it down to fit. And I'm gonna put it on overlay. I only really want it to be flashing when the jersey changes. So we'll do that and then fade it out. So let's see what this looks like. And you know, I think that looks pretty good. And then actually there's one last thing. So I'm gonna come into After Effects with this overlay. Um, you can basically do this with any line, but I'm just gonna grab this one I already had. So I'm going to cut this, come to position, scale and rotation, and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And then I'm going to position it here. And then I wanna actually wanna scale this down a little bit. So I want it to start here. And then I'm gonna to come to the first frame. First of all, I'm gonna change this to screen. And then as the jersey's coming on, I want to keyframe it down here, okay? Just gotta mess with these keyframes a little bit. That's pretty good. So then what I'm gonna do is I want the jersey to be revealed underneath the line, right? So I'm gonna come in here and then I'm going to create a rectangular mask. 
So as you can see, that cuts off the jersey. And what I want to do is keyframe this position so that it's lined up with the line. And I'm going to come to Masks and hit Mask Path. And then I just need to mess with this positioning. So it's lined up there on the bottom. And then let's line it up again. And again. And again. And now you can see the jersey is being revealed behind the line. So it's kind of like it's being swiped down. So let's watch this back. You know, pretty good. Um, that's basically the full transition. But I hope this helped. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss another video. I'm going to be posting pretty consistently. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and thank you guys for watching.